up, you two? Well, I got this pet off of the trailer and everything. I got it off and ran into some problems, so now I'm gonna have to... I'm looking into right now fixing those problems. See, I cut it off. It's just sitting on cinder blocks right now. That's where it came off. Of course, I took it off with the lift. But when it came off, you can see I just put some square tubing on there for the chain to catch on both corners. I'm going to cut that off in just a second. But when, I came, when it came off and I already knew there was a problem, there was a major gap in this door right here. It had to have been at least an inch. And I had seen it before. I thought I was going to be able to fix it, and I just I can't get it fixed. And I can't, I can't let it go with a gap like that. It's just not going to work. The doors are down here now. I've tried several things and can't get them fixed out, so I'm in the process now of squaring the fronts of them off and putting square doors on them where to open up to the sides or maybe the top. Not quite sure yet. But right now it's going to be a long process getting that done. I'm trying to get it done. I'm going to put caster wheels under the bottom. It's going to sit right about that height. Once I get the doors done, I can go ahead and finish it up, get the caster wheels, the paint, everything done on it. Possibly some tables. But that's what's going on right now. Major problems that I didn't want to deal with. But I just, I, I can't let it leak that bad. You can see right here, I'm cutting the parts out that's going to frame the pit to square off the doors. This is one that's cut out already. It'll sit similar to that. I still got to clean it up a little bit on this outside edge. But it's going to, like I say, it's a long process, and I'm not positive this is going to work. I may still have to do something different, but I think I got this part figured out. It's just a matter of getting it done. All right, while that cools off, I'll get the weld machine and everything out. Then I'll come back and cut it to this shape here and clean everything up and get ready to start tacking stuff on. I'm trying to let it cool. This is only eighth inch. I'm trying to frame the front of this in. And I'm trying to keep it from warping as much as possible. It's not hard to bend back, but this may be less trouble. Also, do, also doing a little bit of the trim work around this piece with these Radner cutting blades. These five inch blades, I use them on that four and a half inch grinder. I have to tell you, these are some of the best damn cutting blades I've ever seen. They run you about two fifty a pair a piece where I buy them at, at air gas. But this has got to be the best cutting blade I've ever came across. Longest lasting and a real nice cut. Well, we got one side of it tacked up, kind of boxed in. Everything's just tacked right now. I hadn't welded anything yet. Got about 50 million tacks all over this thing. But you can see how it boxes in now. Hopefully this is going to work. I won't know for sure until I got the door on it. But the door should lay flat and flat right here. It's going to hinge at the top for it to pull all the way up. It took quite a bit of fabricating to get this thing on here. So hopefully everything's gonna go good. I still gotta do this side. I gotta get some more steel to do it. But I had to make sure this lip was out far enough that the racks would still come out. And that the bottom wouldn't be unblocked. They should still be able to come out of there just fine. It's harder to do with that, do with that doorway already cut and then trying to square it. It's easier if you start from the jump. But there it is. I think it's going to work out all right. Like I say, the racks will still come out. You'll still be able to mess with all your food while it's in there. All that at the top will be welded solid where you see the cracks. Well, the whole thing will be solid. That's how it looks. Try to get a little more done on it.
and try to get this other side started.